Hey everybody, wherever you are on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, I hope you're having an awesome day. This week on The Loop, we've been talking about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit plays a significant part in the Christian life, or at least that's the way that God intended for it to be. See, in order for us to benefit from the Holy Spirit, the Apostle Paul said some really important things that we need to hear and consider. In Galatians 5, he tells us that we need to do three things. In verse 16, he said we need to live by the Spirit. In verse 18, he told us that we need to be led by the Spirit. And in verse 25, he told us that we need to keep in step with the Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to help us be all that God wants us to be. The Holy Spirit is here to help us do all that God wants us to do. But we have to cooperate. In fact, if you look back at verse 16, Paul doesn't just say live by the Spirit. He warns us not to live according to our flesh. In fact, listen to what he says in verse 17. For the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit desires what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other so that you do not do what you want. He's saying that if you're a follower of Jesus, you have two forces at work in your life, and these two forces are in conflict with each other. They do not get along. The flesh wants to be gratified by the things of this world, and the Holy Spirit can only find satisfaction in the things of God. Paul knows that when we give into our flesh, we do not do what we really want to do. In the aftermath of our decisions or our actions, we're disappointed in ourselves. We feel a sense of real regret in our lives. And so Paul tells us, don't do that. Instead, live by the Spirit. When you feel that tension between what your flesh wants and what the Spirit of God wants, your faith should lead you to surrender to the Spirit. You should remember the truths of this passage You should remember all the feelings of disappointment and regret every single time you give into your flesh. You should learn from those mistakes so that you can live by the Spirit and be all that God wants you to be.